Guys, see, Thomas Barnes is scoring another streamer today, very similar to the one he's got last time. And you've been making him watch back that goal for inspiration, because clearly it's working today. He did watch it uh, this afternoon, to be fair, this morning. Uh, but for sure, after you have to do it on the pitch, it was a, a great goal. I think his performance as well raised today again to a level that he should be playing. So really happy with that. And a really special moment as well for Reese Nelson, who yeah. probably found it quite difficult to, when he's coming to the team to really perform to get two goals. It must have been a really special moment. I think not only me, but all his teammates and all the staff are so happy for him because he's a kid that uh, is really. Changing, is really evolving, is really maturing, and and he's showing every day how much he wants it. And today he had the opportunity, and, um, and and he did extremely well because he helped us to win the game. Yeah, Neil, how bad is Bukayo injury, and is the World Cup in for that for him? Hopefully not. It was a bad kick right from the beginning. He was limping, but um, I don't see any further than that. Let's see how he is in the next couple of days. What was the was it foot, ankle, leg? I think both. <laughs> I think he got kicked a few times and uh, and he wasn't comfortable to continue. Guys, guys, just raise your hand if you've got a question. James, yeah. For a player that dribbles the ball a lot, takes on players a lot, he's actually ranked quite low in terms of the number of fouls that have been blown in his favour. Do you think referees need to give him more protection? That's for them, honestly. <laughs> yes, come on here. Uh, there's a stat going around that this is the most games Arsenal have played in a month since the 1980s. What has this month told you about your squad and what it might need in the future? How lucky I am to have them um, together with me and um, and again, especially when we lose or when we draw, uh, how united we are, how we respond to that and today I think it was a, a really good example. We know that the schedule that we're facing now, we're going to be facing in January, is really, really demanding. So we need to face it and we want to do it in the best possible way. Got the glass again. Hi. Uh, Hi. You guys are you know, top of the league right now, the city is chanting that. How much is the impact of the fans on your performances here at Emirates? Huge. Uh, I don't know the percentage if it's 20, 30 or 90 percent, but uh, he transformed the teams. I think that the energy that they produce, the support that they give to the team, especially in difficult moments, like we had some examples already throughout the season, is phenomenal. The boys are really looking to come here and play and they are really enjoying it. And uh, and this is a huge advantage, I think. Sammy? Okay, did you speak to your players this week about responding? Obviously, you had drop points last Sunday. In midweek, it was, it was a big game today. For in terms yeah. of in terms of that, that's something you must have been delighted with. Did you speak yeah, about it in the week? we did. And big teams have to respond as quick as possible, and and we did that after the disappointment of Thursday night. You don't have time. We go here Friday evening, one half training session, and uh, and be ready not only physically but mentally again to another demand against a team that beat Liverpool. And and the pressure is on. You know, you lose the first place, and and you are there. And we need to get used to that. Okay, last couple, Miguel. Just on that, Miguel. Obviously, in the last few games, the team hadn't scored as many goals. Could you feel a good release today once it kind of clicked? Or what was the difference? It was great. I think we certainly have been creating the chances to score and uh, we, have, we haven't been hitting the target enough and we have discussed that um, whole week um, and today the individual talent obviously made a difference. They scored some fantastic goals and, uh, and they share the goals, which I think is important as well. We'll go to Sam and then finally one at the back, Sam. Michael, just on Reese again, you mentioned how he's changed and mm. evolved. In what ways has he done that? How mature, how focused he is in, in his in his profession, the way he talks, the way he res reflects to the, the way he respects decision, the way he's challenging everybody every single day. It's a, it's a joy of a kid, and uh, we all want him to to be successful and do well. And uh, what we've done today for the team um, is something that he really merits. And finally, at the back there. Yeah. Hi, right, so talk of goals. We've also scored two goals today. How much confidence does that give you, knowing that Saka could be up for some time? Well, we don't know. First of all, there are two different things, but uh, the fact that we have people or players that can contribute uh, to winning games um, is really powerful. That's what we need when we look on the bench to have uh, players to change the game, and today he's done it. Okay, guys, thanks very much. Yeah, thank yeah. you.